Hello third graders and welcome to another English video lesson. We will continue exploring the topic of right and wrong. The title of today's lesson is How would you feel about that? We will continue to talk about topics related to moral dilemmas. My name is Irena and I will lead you through the lesson. Here are the outcomes for the day. Hopefully, by the end of the lesson, you will be able to analyze a text describing your feelings in a particular situation and to describe your own feelings in that particular situation. Just like every time, you are going to need something to write with and something to write on. You will need a device with internet access. From time to time, I will suggest that you pause the video and do the task listed on the screen. You can always pause the video whenever you feel the need to check something, or you can even replay it if necessary. So, let's start with the lesson. So, what we talked about last time. We said that the moral dilemma is a situation in which a difficult choice has to be made. We explained what the concept means, what it refers to, and we gave some examples. Do you remember any of them? For example, Dove Crowded Lifeboat, Sophie's Choice, Robin Hood Dilemma. What do they all have in common? That's right. Either choice you choose entails transgressing a moral principle, and that basically means that it may feel like whatever you decide to do is the wrong thing. So, feelings are one of the most important things to discuss when we are talking about moral dilemmas. Emotions, the way we feel, these are the things that will bother us the most, and we have to learn how to deal with them. So, let's have a look at an example. Imagine the following situation. One of your classmates, the teacher's son, has cheated on the end of the year test. You have evidence and you know he'd be expelled for what he'd done. However, you still have to take the final exam and that teacher will be the one grading you. Hmm. You only have one day to decide what you'll do. How would you feel? Pause the video and write down the first few things that come to mind. So, what's going on in our heads and our hearts when facing a moral dilemma are probably the following things. First of all, you keep thinking about it. There's nothing on going on in your head, nothing else. You just keep thinking about what you should do. Puzzle over it means that you spend a lot of time thinking about the right solution. You will probably struggle with your conscience as it involves transgressing a moral principle either way and you will probably have mixed feelings. Feel ambivalent about it and be at the end of the your theater because it's not an easy thing to do. If you follow this link or scan the code, it will take you to a set of flashcards explaining these expressions. You will find example sentences and you will see what they mean and as they are explained with another example. I suggest that you pause the video and take a look at them right now. But it's not just that. Not only do we have problems thinking about moral dilemmas, we probably go through an emotional turmoil as well. So, going, things going on in our hearts are as important as the one going on in our minds. Let's listen to a story and try to decipher the meaning of the following phrases. Growing need, deep-rooted feeling, pent-up anger, burning desire, primal urge, and heartfelt plea. Listen to the story. What can I tell you? Although I was familiar with the concept of a moral dilemma, the first time I faced one, I felt horrible. I kept thinking about it, and I couldn't concentrate on anything else. I was struggling with my conscience for days, feeling the growing need to finally make a decision. Needless to say, I had mixed feelings about it. One option seemed right from legal perspective, but I had a deep-rooted feeling it was wrong. 
puzzling over it just made things worse. I felt a lot of pent-up anger caused by my reluctance to act. I had a burning desire to overcome the dilemma in such a way to please everybody, but it seemed impossible. I was so ambivalent about the whole thing. There was this primal urge to come up with a win-win situation, but I couldn't think of one. Being at the end of my tether, all I could hope for is for someone to hear my heartfelt plea and help me choose the right course of action. Did you manage to work out the meaning? Did you get it right? You know that you can always go back and return a video for a couple of minutes and listen to the story once again, just to be on the safe side. So, just to make sure that you've got it right, why not open the link or scan the code and go do the task? When you follow this link, you will find the exact story that you have heard and you will find a set of sentences where you can use these expressions in your context. Please pause the video and do it now. So, do you think you're ready to describe how you would feel in a particular situation? Perhaps you already faced a moral dilemma and you had to think of what you would do. You had to get the right solution and it probably wasn't an easy thing. If it wasn't, if it wasn't real for you, perhaps you've just heard an example and you or you were asked by a friend to help him or her. So, do you think you're ready to explain how you feel or how you would feel in such a situation? Once again, if you follow this link or scan the code, you can listen to the description that you've just heard about the person who was faced with a moral dilemma and had to find a solution, and you can use it as a template to create a similar description. You can post it on the Flipgrid and you can add videos and comments on how you think things went on and what would be right. You can do it at any time, it doesn't have to be right now, but if you feel like you're ready, you can pause the video and write down the notes and prepare the recording. Before we finish the, today's lesson, let's make sure that you got it right. Here are the expressions we mentioned when, that we need when we're talking about thoughts and emotions in difficult situations. The growing need, deep-rooted feeling, pent-up anger, burning desire, primal urge and heartfelt plea. Follow the link or scan the code to open a vocabulary exercise which will help you get these, get these expressions right. And finally, let's reflect on what we have done. Before we finish, write down the three things that you've learned during today's lesson. Write down two things that still aren't perfectly clear and write down one more that you don't understand at all. This will help you make sure that you achieve the outcomes. This is it for today. I hope that you have enjoyed the lesson and found it useful. Join us again next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.